Hey guys, JD here with the 2022 Kawasaki Ultra 310 LXS Supercharged Jet Ski. So I wanted to take a moment to show you how to open the battery door and access the battery on this ski. For those of you who aren't familiar with this ski or the Kawasaki Ultra platform, the batteries are located up in the front of the ski in the forward compartment. So as you can see, one of the biggest differences for 2022 is that Kawasaki has discontinued the use of the center push style plastic rivets and has switched instead to a standard automotive push-in style rivet. So it's real easy to get this compartment up. The first step is you're gonna to wanna to remove this tool bag that Kawasaki's provided us with. We're gonna set that to the side. And I'm trying to get a good shot here. Next, you'll see that there's a lip along the back of this door here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is put your fingers right under the compartment and pull up. And those rivets will pop up real easily. Make sure to do the one side and then the other side and then kind of work your fingers around the edge, popping them all up. Um, you don't wanna just rip it out. You know, you wanna be fairly careful with it um, and pull the rivets out evenly. All right, so this is what the rivets look like, just to give you a closer look. These are standard automotive style. If you lose these, you could buy them at any auto parts store on Amazon. They come in, you know, bags of 100 or... So we're removing the door here. It's real easy, it just slides right out of the way. You can see these nice scratches here from the dealership. Looks like they used a flathead screwdriver to open my battery door. That's what I get for my uh, prep fee, right? So there's the, cow there's the battery that comes stock with the ski. It's a 18.9 amp hour lead acid battery. It's a maintenance free type, so once the electrolyte is added, the battery is sealed. Got our positive and our negative terminals. Make sure to check these often, make sure there's no corrosion buildup You'll see a lot of corrosion on the negative terminal if you don't properly grease those. We have our starter relay or solenoid and a couple fuses down here and connectors. You can also see there's some drains in this compartment in case water gets in there. And that's pretty much it. It's real easy to access the battery. Um, I suggest you maintain a voltage of around 12.6 volts. That's uh, what they, they mention in the Kawasaki manual. Um, some of you who aren't familiar with this platform will realize that the battery is in the front of the ski. And in my opinion, Kawasaki does this for two reasons. One is for weight distribution. The second is that when you have a battery in the engine compartment, like the Yamahas, those batteries are exposed to an extreme amount of heat. And as many of you know, uh, exposing batteries to heat like that drastically shortens their life cycle. So having the having the battery up here, uh, you know, it might take some getting used to at first if you're not familiar with the uh, Kawasaki Ultra platform, but it's really easy to maintain and access the battery. And uh, as you see from, uh, I'll, what I'll do now actually, is I'm gonna put the cover back on.